Good Monday morning. We're reading from the greatest sermon ever preached, Jesus' Sermon on the Mount. Here, the Lord gives a stern warning against hypocrisy and worldly mindedness, sins that those who profess faith should ever be aware of and be on our guard against. It was these sins which permeated as yeast in the lives of the Pharisees and of which Jesus spoke so vehemently against. Giving, it's a high Christian duty and one we're called to, yet we must be aware of the subtle sin of pride which quietly worms itself into our actions. I wish I could say that I have never practiced my righteousness before people. And while there are many, many times I've done good things incognito, Sometimes, I've enjoyed the praises of men. I can say that I no longer keep score. I love the freedom of giving to others as the Lord prompts without expecting something in return. It, it's taken some time, but over the years, I seem to have learned to exercise the precept that Jesus describes here in Matthew 6. 2 Chronicles 16.9 says, For the eyes of the Lord run to and fro through the whole earth, to give strong support to those whose heart is blameless toward him. Living our lives for an audience of one, that should be our goal. And when the Lord sees us give to others from a pure heart, it's accompanied with his reward. You've heard it said many, many times, you can never outgive God. And that's a fact. Jesus said, given it will be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, will be put into your lap. For with the measure you use, it will be measured back to you. The promises of God will ever hold true for those who give to please God rather than men. The Pharisees certainly gave, and they gave generously. But their motive was not in obedience to God or the love of their fellow man. They gave so they could brag about it. Their actions were purely for show, choosing to give where others could see. The praise of men, that was their pay in full. Jesus tells us we are to conceal our giving as much as possible. We're to give because it's the right thing to do, not to receive accolades from those who see us do it. Pride is an insidious monster, and we must always be on our guard of it. Heavenly Father, keep me from temptation to do hypocritical works in order to receive the applause of men. Examine my heart, search my hidden motives, my mind, and expose all that is offensive to you. Help me to live and to work to your praise and glory. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. God bless you. See you tomorrow.